Centrifugal force and centripetal force are a perceived force, not a real force. But it's worth spending some time to talk about what their perceptions are. So we already talked about centripetal force, that there's no such thing. There can be centripetal acceleration. The word means center seeking. So when you go in a circle, rather than going straight, something is pushing you into the center. The force would be that mass times that acceleration. But we know there's no centripetal force. There's only acceleration. The force comes from a real force, an interaction between two bodies. Like the moon, it's gravity pulling it. A rock on a string, it's the tension in the string. A car going around a turn, it's the frictional force. So centripetal is center seeking, where centrifugal is center fleeing, running away from the center. That's the perceived that's a perceived force outward when you're spinning something. For instance, as you spin the rock, the rock is exerting centrifugal force on the string. And again, neither of these forces are real. A force is an interaction between two bodies. You have a tension in the string. The string pulls the rock into the circle, giving it centripetal acceleration. The string also pulls you outward. And that would be the perceived centrifugal force. Let's get an example. When I was a kid, right, I'm sitting in the back of the car next to my sister, okay? We're driving along and all of a sudden, we go around a turn. What do you do? I smash her into the side of the car and squish her. She hits me and yells, Pete is smashing me. I exhibited centrifugal force on her. She was mad. That's our perception as the car accelerates around the corner. So what's really happening? Well, me, I have a velocity in this direction. My sister, she has a velocity in this direction. We're minding our own business. The car, it has a velocity in this direction. Then we change things. We turn the wheels, and now there's a frictional force in this direction pulling the car inward. And you know, because if you look at the back of the car, this is what it looks like. The tires are pulling the car that way. And so what happens? The car doesn't any longer go in this direction. It goes like this. The wall of the car comes around and exerts a force, a centripetal force, no, a normal force on my sister and pushes her this way, right? Me, I'm still minding my own business and, and she is pushed into me, providing a normal force on me that pushes me in that direction. And so there's just a normal force acting on us, pushing us in this direction. Now, of course, the normal force between us, as hard as she pushes on me, I push on her. She perceives that equal and opposite force as a centrifugal force and blames me for applying a force to her. Who's right? You decide. Okay, because in any force, there's an equal and opposite. The key thing is that there is no centrifugal force. There is no centripetal force. There's normal force, there's frictional force, there's tension in the string, and there's centripetal acceleration that results from those forces.